It's Wednesday, March 18, and this is your Barbados Today Evening News Update. The number of persons infected by the coronavirus COVID-19 remains at two in Barbados. In an update this evening, Health Minister Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey Bostic told reporters that the patients, a 39-year-old Barbadian woman and a 40-year-old visitor, continue to receive treatment in isolation. In addition, persons who were in close contact with the patients have been traced. He says more than a dozen people were tested yesterday as he assured that government has an adequate number of testing kits. We've tested about 13 people yesterday and there are 11 persons who are due to be tested today. Those persons who were tested yesterday were all negative. In terms of the testing kits, we have increased our capacity through some kits that were presented to us by PAHO. And the government of Barbados is in the process of purchasing um, a lot more kits. And the first set of kits that we are going to be purchasing, those kits are due to arrive on the 4th of April, with another set of kits coming in a few weeks after that. And we also have a third set of kits. So this is a continuous process, and we will purchase kits depending on, uh, purchase a number of kits depending on how the situation develops. Minister Bostic insisted that the infected patients were screened when they arrived in the country. He assured that authorities have stepped up surveillance. We believe that if we can detect it at the port of entry, then it would reduce the need for testing at that stage. Bearing in mind that test kits are limited globally and we have to operate within the confines of the resources that we have. So we do selected testing based on your travel history and when you present with symptoms and that is the policy that we've been following so far. Schools will remain open at least for now. That's the word from Prime Minister Mia Motley as the Ministry of Education held an online consultation on COVID-19 today. Teachers and their unions have been calling for schools to abandon classes just two weeks shy of the Easter holiday. Motley says the cabinet will make a decision tomorrow. But I have every confidence that the majority of Barbadian teachers will understand, and we also are listening. Uh, uh, Santia has already started talking to me about some things, but I want us to go to cabinet tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, but if we shut everything down just purely because others are shutting down, many of you know Rudyard Kipling better than me, because you know more of his poems than me. But go and read if again. Mm -hmm. If we can keep our heads while all others around us are losing theirs. Mm -hmm. Let us do the right thing according to our culture and according to who we are. Meanwhile, Education Minister Cynthia Bradshaw sought to allay the fears of parents, assuring the government will make its decision based on the science. I know there are several parents who sent their children to school um, this morning and, and will continue to do so because they don't have any other option. The, 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 the officers who are on the front line, who are basically helping us at the ports of entry, they have children too. Are we saying that their children don't matter? Are we saying that they must not continue to get an education, particularly when we don't have the risk factors? I say not, and the medical evidence is suggesting not. This is not me as minister saying I want to put people at risk. This is us being guided as a country, armed with all the information, to be able to say, look at our schools, look at the risk factors, and be able to make decisions that are in the best interest of our students, of our teachers, and all of the ancillary staff that have to work within um, education as well. A local businessman and community activist teamed up to ensure hand sanitizers will be back on the market. Amid fears about the coronavirus COVID-19, Barbados bought out all supplies, and Joanne Haig sought the help of Mark Maloney to ensure the country which has two cases of the virus can access the much-needed product. Haig told Barbados today they have so far manufactured half a million milliliters of hand sanitizer, and special provision has been made to ensure vulnerable groups can first access the product. What you're looking at now are, mem are members of the Barbados Defense Force collecting on my behalf. Um, I want to thank them. They are the recipients of some of this um, sanitizer. They're obviously on the front line and they're going to need some protection as well as some of this will be going to the National Assistance Board where the caregivers under the Ministry of Elder Affairs um, certainly would want to make sure that they 
would um, be able to sanitize their hands when they're dealing with the elderly. As you know, we're conscious of the fact that our elderly persons are obviously under the vulnerable category as well as other persons with underlying issues. Some of this will also go to um, members of the Council for the Disabled because we've liaised with them and we're going to make sure that they get access to some hand sanitizer. We're going to get some more next week. This is approximately um, half a million milliliters of hand sanitizer. The full order was one million milliliters and then we're going to put them into smaller bottles. Uh, so this is just step one. Some will be given away in this size bottle. Then we're going to put some into smaller bottles and um, we're going to make sure as best as we can that those who did not get will have an opportunity to um, to have access to the proper products uh, to sanitize. There's regional and international news after this short break. It's Festive Friday at the Bridgetown Night Market at Pelican Craft Center. Kick off the weekend this Friday from 4 p.m. to midnight with loads of food, drinks, and entertainment. Get ready for crop over with the Rhythm Roots Street Parade. Party like it's Kadooman Day on the street around Pelican Village with costume reveler, music, and more. It's Festive Friday. It's Festive Friday at the Bridgetown Night Market at Pelican Village Center from 4 p.m. to midnight. Admission free. To regional news now, Jamaica has recorded its first death from COVID-19. The patient died at an isolation facility at the Mandeville Regional Hospital this afternoon. Up to Tuesday, Jamaica had recorded 13 cases of the virus. Health officials confirmed the death this evening. On the international scene, the number of people dying from the coronavirus in Italy has risen by 475 in one day to nearly 3,000, the biggest increase since the outbreak. There are a total of 35,713 confirmed cases in the country, with more than 4,000 patients having successfully recovered. Lombardy, the worst hit region, recorded 319 deaths in one day. Italy is the world's worst affected country after China, where the virus originated last year. The vast majority of the more than 200,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 worldwide, 80% have occurred in Europe and the Western Pacific region, which includes much of Asia. That's news, but for the very latest, visit our website at www.barbidistoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook, and sign up for our breaking news alerts via WhatsApp. We're also on Izumi Media and Bus Terminals, as well as Screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. You can also hear us on Mix 96.9 FM and Capital Media HD 99.3 FM.